morning, everybody, and welcome to Worship Sunday. We are so excited to have you join us today because we are going to be talking about something that's really important to us. So before we get into our first worship song for today, we're going to talk about what worship actually is. So if we look all the way back into the Bible, one of the first stories is about Adam and Eve. In the Garden of Eden, God spent time with Adam and Eve every single day. He would walk with them and talk with them. And for Adam and Eve, that was how they worshiped God. It was spending the time together that was so special to them. God didn't do this with anything else that he created. He didn't spend time with the animals or the plants or the land, only Adam and Eve, which proves that they were really special to him. Worship for me is making God bigger than what is around me. So we take time to worship, we, we spend time with God, we look at his word, we sing, but it's, for me it's focusing on God and then everything around us just becomes small, like a candle in front of the sun because God is so big. So if you have worries, then you, you look at God and it makes your worries smaller and God bigger. And that's why I worship. So today's first worship song is called Devotion. So we're going to use that song to just focus on God and make Him big today. Wherever I go, you're the one I give my devotion. Your love is great.
now we want to talk about why we worship. Tegan and Katie, do you want to share some light for us? Absolutely. Yes. Has your mom or dad done something really special for you and all you wanted to do was give them a big hug? Or maybe your mom bought you your favorite present or bought you your favorite meal. Hasn't it made you feel excited or happy on the inside? Worship is like that because God is actually our spiritual father. So when we worship him, it's a response. It's a response to all the good things that he does for us. God loves us, he protects us and gives us strength when we feel weak. So we can't give God a hug, but we can worship him. It's like a thank you for all the things that he's done for us. Let's get into the second worship song of the day, Everything Good. A marvel at a sunrise at a mountain peak The glory of the heavens are the words you speak the beauty of a forest, of a waterfall I stand in awe to think you made them all Benjamin, I have a question for you. Do we always need music in order to worship Jesus? That's a very, very good question. Sometimes we've been taught and trained that the only way we can worship God is by singing and maybe even sometimes a little bit of dancing. But worship is a lot more than that. Worship is any time where we make God bigger, where we take God into our situation and say, God, 
this is happening, but you are bigger than the situation. It's also a time where we can just tell God that we love Him. And the same way that Penelope said, it's a way that we can just spend time with God and enjoy His presence. God is our Father, and He loves spending time with us. He loves it when we can almost feel like we're climbing up onto His lap and just sitting with Him and just allowing Him to love us. Do you know that it's worship to allow God to love you? So there's lots of ways for us to allow God to love us and that we can worship Him. It's just a way for us to say thank you for being an amazing Heavenly Father. Thank you, Benjamin. That makes so much sense. It's so true that all we need to do to worship God is to make Him bigger than our situation. Let's finish off this episode by going into our last song. It's called Flawless and I hope that you are blessed by the lyrics. There's got to be more than going back and forth From doing right to doing wrong Cause we were taught that's who we are well, Come on, get in line right behind me You along with everybody Thinking there's worth in what you do Then like a hero who takes the stage When we're on the edge of our seat Saying it's too late let me introduce you to amazing grace No matter the bumps, no matter the bruises, no matter the scars
boys and girls. You know what's one of the amazing things? God has allowed us to worship Him. And in worshiping, it actually benefits us. And one of these things that we get to do is communion. Communion is a, is a, a powerful tool that God has given us. It's also worship, but it's given to us to help us. Let me explain it to you, boys and girls. First, we have the bread. Now, the Bible says when we eat the bread and think about what Jesus has done for us, we can receive healing in our bodies. So, in worship and in taking communion, let's trust Jesus today that he can heal you or a friend or a family member. Let's partake together. It's red, kids. Get ready. The next thing in communion, boys and girls, is the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus talks about amazing promises that Jesus has given to us. Promises that he'll love us, that he'll always be with us, that he'll be our friend, and that he will always, always protect us. So let's worship him by taking the juice together. Amen. Boys and girls, I want to talk to you about the most amazing, extraordinary, awesome way in which we get to actually worship Jesus. The Bible says the best thing that we can ever do as people is to give our lives and our hearts to Jesus. That is the ultimate form of worship. And also when we worship God in that way, He just blesses us and gives us everything that we need. And He makes us His children. So if you want to become a child of God and worship God in the best, most awesome, amazing way ever, say this prayer with me and believe it in your heart. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you that you have made me to worship you. Thank you that you can take my life and give me a brand new life. Thank you that you forgive everything I've ever done wrong and that you come and live in my heart. In Jesus' name. Wow, guys, isn't that amazing that we can worship God with our very lives and give everything to Him? Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope that you understand more about worship and that this week in particular, you worship every single day and praise God for everything. Have a good one. See you guys next time. Get ready. Get set.